Okay, you're all probably used to going in and hooking up your phone via USB and you can drag files between here and your PC. Or maybe you do it through uh, one of the cloud solutions. Well, the your phone app has just been updated. You can actually drag right between your your phone app and the desktop. Okay, you have to have a certain version of the phone, but it's available for everybody that's on the latest release of Windows. But you should go down to settings and then click on cross device copy and paste. Uh, otherwise, it's just not going to work. So once you got that, let's take a look at how, how you can drag your files. Now you already have to have your phone app set up to talk to your PC. And here you see my phone on the screen. Now there's two different ways. The first way I'm going to do is through the gallery function. And if you look up here, this is my gallery. I don't have a previews showing up. But here's my latest pictures uh, that I have on my phone, not on my PC. So now to drag files, I'm going to open up File Explorer, good old Windows File Explorer. And I'm going to, let me move it over here to my other screen. Uh, doo -doo -doo, there it is. Okay, so I want to drag some of these files over. I just click and hold on it, and you'll see there it says copy. You just let go, and within a certain amount of time, boom, it shows up on your phone. And you can do more than one file at a time. You just use your file manager like you normally would do. Use the control key and pick out multiple ones or drag across a bunch. But here I have two selected. Let me get a third. Oh, I accidentally let go. Uh, let's go ahead and select more than that. Let's go to those three, drag them over to the phone, and you'll see the same uh, copy uh, indication. And after a few seconds, boom, uh, there they are. Up here, by the way, is a download, and you can click on that to check your history and see about successfully downloaded one and successfully downloaded three. Uh, you can check your downloads through your notification banner up top. So what about the other direction? So let's go find a uh, photo on your phone you want to put on your PC. So we go back over to your phone app right here, go down to this photo here, click and hold on it until the checkbox appears. You can then use uh, checkboxes there to do the same thing and more. Then you click and hold your mouse. Then within a few seconds, uh, it'll show up as a copy right there. If you drag over here, you see it has a number two because we're doing two. Drag over to File Explorer and let go. And depending upon your connection again, boom, all of a sudden, uh, you now have the photos here on your PC. So what about duplicates? What if you accidentally copy the same file over again? Uh, what's to prevent that or from overwriting the same name file at least? Well, it's very simple. You just do it like you normally would do. Uh, you find out which file you want to transfer. Okay. And we know we already just did this. So I drag that over. Uh, let me hold, drag and hold and drag it over. And we get, boom, you don't see it's off screen. Let me move it over here. There's the same old conflict dialog box you're used to seeing when copying files. Now you can copy a bunch of files, but what about folders? Let me see if I click and drag on this folder. I have several files inside there. Okay. Uh, but if I go back and I try to drag an entire folder over, I want to move all of these. And I go here. And I try and whoop, let me move this out of the way. And I try to drag this folder over to the phone. And you'll see you get a little red uh, no entry or whatever sign. Uh, you can't do folders yet. They're not supported. So you have to go in here, highlight, whoop, uh, highlight all these, and drag them over individually. So that's great for uh, picture files. But I open up the My Files app on my phone. I want to do the same thing. I'm going to drag stuff from my PC and I want to put it in wherever, documents or whatever, over there. This is the text file. So all I do is click and hold on it like that and I want to put it in here. Let me drag it over there. Now the directory uh, download uh, icon changed to TXT, but the point of it is if you go into that directory now and uh, look at it, uh, you'll see that the file transferred. Now that was a simple text file. I'm going to go out here and do both a doc, a Word doc, and a PDF file. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag them. Uh, I'm going to put them over here in my download directory on my phone. And after a little while, you'll see that uh, they actually transferred perfectly. So now you can view them on your phone. Lastly, let's talk about file limits. Okay, I'm in my video directory on my phone, and I'm over here in my YouTube directory. 
uh, for videos. And if you look over here, uh, the size here, I'm going to select one that's pretty large. Okay, uh, let me go to this YouTube video here. Let me move this out of the way and find one there. Okay, 200,000. And we're going to drag it over here, but watch. No uh, prevention. It's, it'll copy if I let go. Conversely, if I find a file that's larger than 512 megabytes, here's one right here, one of my other videos. Let me uh, grab this guy and drag it over to the phone. Okay. And, oh, it says warning, not supported. So that's a limitation right now. So there you are working at your PC. You need a file from your phone uh, or a picture. Uh, here's how you can do it without even leaving your seat. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.